Hey, hello and welcome once again to my YouTube channel, this Reflex Image. If this is your first time visiting, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification icon. If you already subscribe, I welcome back. So in today's video, I will show you how I created this masterpiece. Very, very easy and straightforward. Trust me, you're going to enjoy this tutorial all through. So to actually support me, the only thing you can do for me is right now is to do what? Is to click the like button and also if you are yet to subscribe, make sure you subscribe. So this is going to help YouTube recommend my videos to others and it's going to encourage me to create more videos like this for you guys to learn from. This background will be given to you for free as long as you subscribe and you like the video. And also, I'll be dropping this picture for you guys to practice with so you can also try it out on your own personal time. So the first thing I need to do is to retouch my picture. And already I have a software to do that which is able to uh, If you don't have this, you can go to Photoshop and start your manual retouching there. So as you can see, Here's the result of my picture and here is the after of my picture. So I was able to retouch this picture in just less than 3 minutes. So if you want to know how I do that, the other videos down in my YouTube that is going to teach you how to use a photo from A to Z. It's going to explain everything for you. So now before I head to photo Photoshop, I want to remove all the blemishes in my background with just a single click. I don't want to take much time doing that. So I'll just go to the background icon on the photo. I'm going to turn on remove distraction. And automatically it's going to remove all the distraction at the end of my picture for me then i'm going to clean backdrop so all the blemishes on the backdrop for me is going to clean everything once i'm done all i just need to do is to come to export and i'm going to do what export my picture to wherever i want it to be i'll just click on export right now the next thing i'll just do i'll go and pick the picture and drag straight into photoshop if you watch the video to this point in time that means you're loving my tutorial so the only thing you can do to support me right now is just to click on the subscribe button and also drop a like. And if you also have a question, you can also drop a comment. You subscribing, you liking my video is going to make YouTube recommend my videos to others. And that's going to encourage me to create more videos like this for you guys to learn from. And note, I will also be dropping so many files that you guys can download for free. Files you need to be getting for premium. Each like count, each subscription counts. So you have my picture right now. What I just need to do right now is just drag this straight into Photoshop. And wait for it to open up for me as you can see here yeah, that picture well retouched the skin is actually looking looking the way i want it to be so if you did not do the retouching very perfect for you you can also do basic manual retouching but i don't think you need to touch the face again probably like the footer area which is the leg aspect the imbalance it up but when it comes to face retouching it actually did a great job for me so now with no for that let's jump into what we hear to do today which is the manipulation the first thing we need to do is to crop the picture into the size you want. So I'm going to do what I'm going to click on C on my keyboard or I'll go to crop. I'll make sure I'm selecting 4x5. But right now it's on 5x4. So I'm going to click on this arrow right here to switch to 4x5. As you can see right now. Then I'm going to expand it the way I want it to be from the top. I'm going to expand it from the bottom also again. So expand it very well. And I'm going to tilt I'll tilt it a bit to the left. Because it's actually slanting to the right a bit. I'm going to tint it from the angle like this. As you can see then i'll click on what i'm going to click on ok i'll click on ok so it's going to do what expand the background for us so the next thing we need to do now is to separate our subject from the background to do that right now we are going to duplicate our background layer by clicking on ctrl j we are using the macbook command j then the next thing i'll do right now is to go to quick selection tool and i'm going to do what i'll click on select subject all i just need to do is to wait for it to load up for me and boom we already have our selection right now it did selection for us into perfection so the reason why i was able to do this selection very very easy is because i'm using Photoshop 225 so i don't think i need any manual adjustment to this selection also again and if you want to use that 25 also and you want to get accurate dictates while you are removing background make sure you're using cloud as then would use cloud to process your image so it's going to fasten up and actually give you accurate result also so I'm going to pick my polygonal axis. So I want to add to these fingernails. Click on addition and I'm going to add to the tip of the fingers. So if you want to know how to do all this basic selection, watch my other videos. They are going to help you a lot in terms of manipulations like this and background removal process. So let's let me get this done so that we can start our manipulation and get it to value. So let's see now we're done with our background selection. The next thing you just need to do is to right click on it, go to feather under feather. I'll be using 2.0 as my pixel and I'm going to click on OK. Next thing I just need to do is just to click on the max icon over here. Once I'm done, I'll just need to go back to my background layer again. I'll Ctrl J on it. 
next thing i'll do i'll hold down my control key and i'm going to click on what i'm going to click on the max of my subject here the one i just removed the, i just created the max and right now next thing i'll do right now is to do it i'll go to select under select i'll go to modify under modify i'll go to expand i'll expand it by 8 pixels i'll click on ok so if i'm to zoom in very well here's what the expansion does it actually put a little space within the subject and the background and whatever i want to remove so i'm going to control zero on it so i'll go to my rectangle marker it too i'll make sure some addition so i'm going to add to all the selection from the top from the left like this from the right like this also and i'll do what i'll add this little bit of blemishes which i have on the background so i'll right click on it right click i'll go to fill under fill i'm going to do what click on content away and i'm going to click on ok so what i just need to do is just for me to wait for it to load up and boom i already have my selection done i want to do it to select but there's still one blemish which is over here so pick a patch tool screw around it and drag to a cleaner area drag it to a cleaner area and boom we are good contribute to select so right now we don't want to work on this layer right now because we we need it back some other time so i'm going to do what duplicate on the layer which i just okay let's name this let's name it modify so that won't be confused modify layer so i'm going to duplicate modify layer again now so the one i duplicated right now will rename it to the blur layer b l u r right i'll just go to filter under filter i'll go to blur then i'll go to gash and blur so i'll click on it wait for it to load up. i'll use the radius about 200 or so 200 i'll click on ok so the moment i did that right now you see the footer shadows are no longer there and without the footer shadow my animation is not going to look nice then i'll do what i'll create a max on it i'll pick my normal brush make sure the color is on what is on black i'm going to screw over where the shadow is initially to return the shadow back for us then we're good to go the next thing we just need to do right now is to go to our file manager and drag in the background we're using so in case you're interested in getting any of my picture editing file from my overlays down to my color lookup which is my lot file so you just have to scroll down to your video so under the comment this is my description so it's not going to load the description for you. You just have to click on show more, click on it. So it's going to show all the options. Once it does that, just click on my store link. So here's my store link. Once you click on it, it's going to take you directly to my store. So you can actually select any file you want. So here's the particular background which I'll be using right now. All I just need to do is to drag it down to Photoshop. I'm going to do what? I'm going to, I don't want to widen the background. So I'm going to place this like this, around this way. I'll place it, I'll click on my enter key. You see, then I will duplicate it by clicking on Ctrl J on my keyboard, Ctrl T on it, and I'm going to drag this other one to the other direction, like this. So that it will look very, very nice. I'll click on OK. So, right now, I know it's going to have a sharp edge, as you can see over here. It has a sharp edge. So, I'll create a max on the upper one. I'll create a max on it. I'll pick my normal brush color. Make sure the color is on black. I'll reduce the size very well. Make sure you're using a soft brush. The hardness is 20 to 0, so I'm going to screw over it. At the edge so it's going to meet up where i want it to meet up so it's not going to be obvious that we join two backgrounds together as you can see right now so once i'm done i'm going to make the both together click on the first one click on the second one i want to control e on it as you can see right now so next thing i just need to do right now is to do what blow the background out a little bit to give it the depth of field vibe just go to filter under filter i go to blow under blow i go to cash and blow wait for it to load up Going to reduce the opacity reduce it drastically i think 8.5 is okay and if it's not okay for your liking you still reduce it again i click on okay once i'm done i'll zoom out back so the next thing i need to do is to balance this color with this color right so i'm going to click the layer directly the background i just brought in i'll click on it i'll go to adjustment layer then i'm going to go to EO and saturation click on it so under that i might click colorize first as you can see right now it changed the color to blue for us initially automatically so then i'm going to do what i'll keep scrolling under the u until i get the color that will be similar to the color i want which is i think around this color as you can see right now but the color is too much all you just need to do is to come to the saturation you drag it down and begin to look seamlessly as possible you need to balance with the color of what you want then we already have a very very nice manipulation but i think this is actually closer to the floor click on it ctrl t on it then drag it upward a little bit drag it up a little bit just to make it to be where you want it to be and boom you are good to go your manipulation is sound and nice 
So if this video helped you one, one way or another, don't forget to drop a like. Someone out there might be in need of this video. And also comment if you have any questions and I'll get back to you in no time. See you guys in my next video tutorial. Just let's out.